Full of fire today at the Clean Energy Systems Power Plant in Middletown triggers memories of a horrible tragedy that happened there. It was in 2010. An explosion at that plant killed six people and injured dozens. News H Josh Scheinblum live on the scene where that fire broke out. And Josh, luckily this was a minor fire. Is this thing finally fully out tonight? That's a great question, Darren. I just got off the phone with the lieutenant for the South District Fire Department. He says that they will be wrapping up this scene here very shortly. However, there are still some things that are unresolved, and they are committed to stay here as long as it takes to make sure that this fire is completely extinguished. A couple of uh, tall billowing smokestacks. A white cloud is rising from the mountains that surround Middletown. It doesn't look clean. It's the consequence of an early morning fire at the clean energy plant. Upon arrival, they did have a fire um, in one of the turbines. It's a uh, concealed room that the turbine is in. Uh, it appears at this point that there was uh, some malfunction in the, in the cooling oil, which caused a leak, which eventually ignited. It changed the view those who spend time in the city are used to seeing. The plume could be spotted as far away as downtown. I just see smoke. It's a pillar of smoke. I can see the smoke um, over the dialysis center. Officials with the South Fire District say no one was injured as a result of the fire, but do say it was a challenge getting it extinguished, requiring help of 50 firefighters from surrounding areas like Portland, New Haven, and right here in Middletown. Yeah, I'm happy that nobody got hurt, and I'm happy it's over. But what most say they found troubling was how this latest fire brought back memories of what occurred at the clean energy plant some four years ago when six people lost their lives after an explosion. I was visiting a friend in the hospital and when I brought it up, I said, there's a fire in the clean plant. He said, no, aren't you, don't you mean they're talking about the anniversary of the other one? I said, no, 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 I think there's actually a fire. This, however, says South Fire District Chief Robert Ross is an entirely different situation than what happened here in 2010. There's no similarity whatsoever. This is a, a, a relatively small fire. The plant is not closed. The other turbine is operating, is producing electricity. Officials with the fire department say the center of their investigation is surrounding that insulating material. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll give you the latest details as to that investigation and tell you why fire officials say it created a particular challenge for them. For now, we're live in Middletown. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.